If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new one percent. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, guys. Please hit that red button for me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get this show started. Uh, if the voice sounds a little bit low, it's because it's early in the morning. I'm trying to get these videos done. I have a lot to do today. So let's get right into it. So uh, normally I don't like to take a look at the price, but VeChain is looking really, really good right now. Up 10% on the day, guys. Still continuing its upward trend. Um, again, just hodl, not financial advice, and uh, I'm going to continue to see where this goes. I think that if Bitcoin continues this upward trend like it has been, and you know Cardano continues to <laughs> go parabolic pretty much, then VeChain can follow suit. Bitcoin gets back up to 60K. There's no reason why VeChain can't get at least back to 20 cents. Um, so yeah, this is pretty awesome, guys. We're up about 10% on the day, 12 cents, holding it strong. Um, yeah, just hodling. Taking a look at VTHO here. Um, I know you guys have been asking a little bit about VTHO. We talked about it two videos ago, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested in it. Moved up pretty significantly. Um, it's past one cent now, so um, if you've been looking for an entry point, maybe under one cent if it co if it corrects a little bit. Um, I think that after 60k Bitcoin, we could see about another three to four cent VTHO, just like last time. Um, I don't expect Bitcoin to just stay at 60k once it gets there. I think that we're well on our way to 100k. It's just my humble opinion, not financial advice, but um, yeah. So we're gonna move on. Talked a little bit about this yesterday. V Chain partnering with Simplex. Uh, so this is an EU licensed financial institution that provides a brand new fiat on ramp for V Chain. Users can purchase VET using fiat payments using credit card, debit card, Apple Pay, etc. This is actually pretty bullish. A lot of major exchanges don't really. Um, well, a lot of major exchanges do have VeChain, but one major exchange seems to be dragging its feet on it. Cough, cough, Coinbase. Um, hopefully we can see Coinbase soon. Here's the press release, guys. Um, yeah, we talked about this yesterday, so hopefully this can add more liquidity. Yesterday we also talked about the Korean article on VeChain, which is really, really good because the Koreans pump VeChain like crazy. As a matter of fact, let me take a look at this. If we take a look at Upbit, this is what pumped VeChain all the way up to 25 cents last time. Um, and as we can see here, VeChain is 17th on the volume, but the Koreans, they like to pump. Right now, the Koreans are pumping the heck out of XRP. As we can see here, here's the highest pair. And, uh, you know, normally they put multiple billion dollars in it, but for some reason it's a little bit under a million. I don't know if the pump groups <laughs> need to get back some money, but, uh, yeah. So we can see here Axie Infinity is being pumped by them, Quantum, and XRP. If the coin is above Bitcoin on Upbit, they're being pumped by the Koreans. And we know, due to last pump, if you're new... Here's what happened. Last time we pumped to 25 cents at our all time high, VeChain was about number four. Bitcoin was all the way down here. So they were pumping the heck out of it. They were pumping XRP. They were pumping a coin called like Electronium, uh, Einsteinium, or something like that. Really weird token. I don't know. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can see that. The Koreans know about VeChain. So. Hopefully they get a fresh influx of cash <laughs> so that they can pump VeChain again. All right, guys, moving on here. 
We've got altcoin daily. Hopefully I don't get copyright striked for showing this sh small clip here. If I do, then unfortunately it'll be silent. But the reason why I'm showing this video is because altcoin daily has almost a million subscribers. Absolutely insane guys. <laughs> like that is crazy. Um, I don't know how long he's been doing YouTube, but that's the goal for us here. So hit that red button. We're going to run it up. We made 20k subscribers just talking about V chain. Lord have mercy. Imagine if I was an evergreen crypto channel. I talked about all the cryptos. Who knows what we will be? But you know, we're gonna stick to our guns. Let's take a look at what he has to say about V chain here. I'm gonna play a small clip. If it is trimmed out or silenced out, it's because of copyright. So I sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So let's take a look looks incredibly bullish to me it is v chain v chain is a supply chain management company protocol and cryptocurrency they're big in asia they're a brand name in the space because they've been in cryptocurrency a number of years let me know in the comments below if you are a v chain bull but like i said their main claim to fame is supply chain management putting the supply chain on the blockchain the recent years they have expanded we'll get to that in just a second but Keep in mind, the main reason they're on the list today is because the price chart looks so bullish. Okay, VFAM, buckle up, because whether we're talking about the RSI, whether we're talking about former resistance turned into support and a retest of that resistance turned into support, the price chart looks bullish. We're now in an uptrend on the price chart. Keep in mind, the last time we saw metrics play out exactly like this, the last time the RSI was like this, the last time we bounced off of resistance turned to support, what followed was a 3,000% rally. 3,000% rally. So even if we just did half of what VET did last time, that would put us at a price point of 93 cents per VET. Now let's say that it plays out very similar to how it played out last time, a 3,000% rally. That would put us at a price point of $1.74 per VET. So price chart looks bullish in the short term. Price chart looks bullish in the midterm going into end of year. That's where we're going, fam. Just in time for Christmas. Just in time for Christmas. And like I said, although their main claim to fame is supply chain management, They've recently branched out in the last couple of years. They are now into NFTs, just like what they're doing on Ethereum. VeChain is trying to take a piece of this market as well. They put out their own NFT line, VPunks. And just like all of the best tokens in the space, you know, we want to see the ecosystem growing. We want to see integrations and partnerships. Traveler.com partners with VeChain to integrate VET as payments. Now you can use VET when you're traveling. Very bullish. Coin number two. So as we can see, you know, he's talking about VeChain. And again, this is to an audience of almost a million subscribers. It was the first coin he talked about. So VeChain is getting into the into the news sphere, guys. <laughs> um, this is awesome. And hopefully we can make it to a dollar, that elusive dollar. I believe. Do you guys believe? I believe. All right, guys, moving on. And final story of the day. Sorry for the short videos today, but uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a busy day today. Um, looking at the VPUNK uh, stats here, here are some of the highest profits made from reselling VPUNK. So, guys, if you have VPUNKs, these things are in high demand. So, VPUNK ID 3493. Uh, this man's made about seventy thousand dollars in V chain. Holy cow! Seven two one nine made forty six thousand, and eight zero four four made twenty five thousand nine hundred fifteen dollars in V chain profit. Absolutely insane. I don't know. I might not sell my in it, my uh, V punk. You know what? I'll put it up for auction if V chain gets to fifty cents. I'll put my V chain. V Punk on auction. If V Chain gets to 50 cents, I'll probably donate, I don't know, half of the profit somewhere. Uh, I don't know, for slow kids or something. I don't know, man. Just we'll think of something. <laughs> so that's that's the V Punk news, guys. These things are hot. I mean, almost 100K V Chain on one V Punk. 
absolutely insane. But that does not that does not uh, surprise me much because I remember crypto babies have not heard from them in a while. Uh, they created a Sunny Lou style card and uh somebody paid 150 v chain 150,000 v chain for it but that was when v chain was less than a penny so can't really count that but moving on guys 955 days to the next bitcoin block having and looking at the prices here things are looking great i mean <laughs> bitcoin does not stop moving up i mean guys we only have 13,000 more to go to be where we were um well a little bit more than that actually let's take a look here oh wow look at that bart head <laughs> tell us you manipulate the market without telling us you manipulated the market uh so let's take a look here um all-time high is about 63 so we're about 16,000 away from that and bitcoin moves fast guys so you know hold on to your hats I'm not saying that we're going to go straight up. We might have a couple of weeks of a correction because, you know, things have been pretty hot, but I don't suspect that we're going to be down for two, three, four months like we were, uh, you know, this cycle. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Please hit that subscribe button. I know this wasn't the most newsworthy video, but uh, duty calls today. So stay tuned for the Cardano updates. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk to you tomorrow or soon with the Cardano updates. And I will talk to you tomorrow with the V-Chain and Cardano updates. Have a wonderful day, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon.